My dear sweet child, it's what I live for, to help unfortunate marathons like yourself. Poor souls with nowhere else to turn to. I'll admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They were kidding when they called me well a witch. But you'll find that nowadays, I've mended all my ways. Repented, seen the light and made a switch. True, yes. And I fortunately know a little magic. It's a talent that I always have possessed. And here lately, please don't laugh. I use it on behalf of the miserable, lonely, and depressed pathetic. Poor unfortunate souls in pain. In me, and this one longing to be thinner, that one wants to get that girl. Do I help them? Yes, indeed. Those poor unfortunate souls, so sad, so true. They come flocking to my cauldron, crying spells, Ursula, please, and I help them. Yes, I do. Now it happened once or twice, someone couldn't pay the price. And I'm afraid I had to rake them across the cone. Yes, I've had the odd complaint, but on the whole, I've been a saint. To those, to those poor, unfortunate souls. Here's my best offer, Benkins. I know a spell that will turn you into a human for three days. Now, it's got a procedural clause, sort of a squid pro quo. Before the sun sets on the third day, you've got to get dear old Princey to kiss you. If you do, you'll stay human forever. If you don't, well, nothing drastic, darling, I'm sure. Oh, look, small print. <laughs> your soul is mine forever, and you're doomed to spend an eternity in a watery hell so glare. <laughs> Lawyers, don't you just love them? Of course, there is one more thing. My fee. Before you say you don't have anything, know that I'm not asking for much. All I want from you is your voice. Well, what are you going to do without it? Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> you'll have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the importance of body language. Well, the men up there don't like a lot of blabber. They think the girl who gossips is a bore. Yes, on land, it's much preferred for ladies not to say a word. After all, dear, what is idle prattle for? Come on, they're not all that impressed with conversation. Two gentlemen avoid it when they can. But they don't swoon and fawn on a lady who's withdrawn. It's she who holds her tongue who gets her man. Come on, you poor unfortunate soul. Go ahead. Make your choice. I'm a very busy woman and I haven't got all day. It won't cost much. Just your voice. You poor unfortunate soul. It's sad, but true. If you want to cross the bridge, my sweet, you've got to pay the toll. Take a gulp and take a breath. Go ahead and sign the scroll. Flock from Jackson, now I've got her, boys. The boss is all over.